Hi, and welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and I'm here with... Matthew Jude. And we have an invitation for you. And, and, and maybe a confession. Oh yeah, we, we, definitely, we definitely have a confession. So, well, Matthew, how should we actually start this thing? Well, we could start with Clash of Giants, Civil War, Battle of Second Bull Run, and Gettysburg. It's Lee's greatest victory, but also his greatest defeat. Yeah, actually, Matthew, yes, that is uh, sort of a good place to start. You see, in one of our Watch It Play team meetings, this is exactly what Matthew did. Uh, he started confessing his love for a war game. And I'll admit, I got very excited. I don't really play war games anymore. I used to when I was in high school, but honestly, it's been quite a long time since high school. But as it turns out, you know what? I have a little pile of war games that I've been gathering too. Games that, I don't know, Matthew, I just, they feel like a style of game that I'm gonna touch with and I wanna return to them like a long forgotten friend. What caused you? Like why have you started growing this collection of war games? Paula, Paula Deming, you've seen her on the channel, I'm sure. She likes war games and I wanted to look cool. Then I played one and then I might have gone a little bit overboard and ignore this, ignore both of these shelves. It's impossible to ignore them. They're filled with war games. I, all your recent videos, all I'm seeing is just shelves of those war games. But what I love is that we both didn't know the other person was feeling this compulsion around the same time. And that means we're, we're both kind of at the same point in our journey. And this is what got me fired up because, and I suppose this is the confession part, war games kind of intimidate me now. I used to play them. But when I look at the back of the box of one of these, I'll tell you something, I am equal parts intrigued, but also intimidated. You know what I mean? It, it kind of makes me feel like a new gamer again, who needs things like deck building and drafting explained to them again. Though I suppose the draft would mean something different. Yeah, you know, I think the rules can appear to be, and, and perhaps actually really are, uh, just more daunting. I don't know, it's, it's sort of like it's a, it's a different format than the games that I'm used to. You know, I, I've played a lot of what I think are pretty complicated games, and I don't think war games are necessarily more complex, but it's almost like they're in a different language, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll play Shipyard or Cooper's Island and have my brain melt, but I'm not intimidated by it. Then I look at Wilderness War, which is a war-themed game, really, and I just... Rodney, it makes me nervous. Well, me too. So, that brings us to why are we sharing all this with you? Well, when I heard Matthew was getting jazzed about war games, I asked if he had this game, Cuba Libra, which is one I was very, very curious about. Now, this is a style of war game known as coin or counterinsurgency. You didn't have this, but you picked it up shortly after, right? Correct, Rodney, I have a problem. I bought it. I looked at All Bridges Burning and Colonial Twilight, but then I went with Cuba Libra to begin with. Although I do want all bridges burning. One word for you, Finland. <laughs> well, that sounds very exciting, but it also seems like our budget for board games is burning up at the same time. But look, seeing you with Cuba Libra filled my heart with joy because I really wanted to learn this one with somebody else. And so I asked if you'd be up for tackling this with me. Rodney, when people think about learning games, they think Matthew Jude. Do they? I suppose I did. <laughs> to be fair, I suppose I did think of you. And I guess that's why I reached out to see if you'd be up for sitting down with me online and learning how to play together. And then another idea struck me. There are probably other gamers like us who have an interest or could have an interest in playing these kinds of games, but are also nervous about it or aren't sure if they're up for the task. And we thought maybe we could open up our learning experience just to everybody. So we thought we'd do something kind of different, maybe a little out there, strange, weird frankly bizarre. On December 15th, 2020, at 12 p.m. Western Time and 9 a.m. Pacific Time, we're going to have a live stream where Rodney and I sit down, game on table, rule book in hand, drinks at the ready, and we're going to learn how to play Cuba Libra together. Now, this will, to be clear, not be a typical rules tutorial from this channel. Normally, I script and I try to craft everything to be presented very succinctly and carefully, but with this, we're going to learn the game just like anyone else would, just like you would. And we want you to be a part of this along with us. Maybe you have a Cuba Libra yourself but haven't learned it yet. What better time than to set it up on the table and join Rodney and I as we learn how to play. Now, this could take a while, 
We're going to budget four hours to the task. We'll have the game all set up at the beginning, all ready to go. And we'll take you on a tour of the board to start, get you just sort of familiar with the components. But then we're just going to dive in and learn it. Neither of us have read through the rules yet, so this is going to be, I promise you, a very authentic experience. And hopefully a fun one, not just for us, but for you. Grab your favorite beverage, get comfortable, and let's go on an adventure. If you've never played a war game, then this experience is going to be for you. You'll also be able to support our efforts by donating through Super Chats, and then we're going to send half of everything collected to our friends over at Nibcard. They not only run a Nigeria-based board game company where they design and produce their own games, but they also run a games cafe, the only one in Nigeria. And, as you can imagine, it's been challenging to keep things going with COVID, but we'd like to help. And during and after the stream, you can too. We'll share more details on the day. And hey, we'd also just like to have you there to cheerlead and bolster our spirits as we take on this major live streaming task. Frankly, we have no idea what it's gonna be like. But we're both really excited. Matthew, I've had this game on my shelf for over a year and I am finally going to get to learn how to play. And maybe after that, we can learn about the wonders of Combat Commander. One word for you, Rodney. Hand grenades. Maybe, or maybe we will never ever do this again. But either way, join us on December 15th at 12 p.m. Eastern and 9 a.m. Pacific for our first and maybe last attempt at this. Oh, and for those of you on this side of the Atlantic, that's 4 p.m. GMT, not GMT, which is funny because it's the same, but it's different. It's funny. Yeah, they, they get it. It's funny. Matthew, they get it. But what was that you were saying about Combat Commander? Because that did sound interesting. Seriously, Rodney, hand grenades. It's chocked full of hand grenades. Anything else? There's so many hand grenades. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's just a box full of hand grenades.